My friend Greg Coleman, uh, local comedian, joins us uh, tonight. We were talking about the Bar oh, Louie stuff going on in the yeah, dress code. Yeah, the new code. dress code. You're not liking it, huh? Yeah, I'm just, like, some of the stuff I'm fine with is just mainly, like, the hats. The hats is only where it falls. I'm not wearing cut-off tees. I don't have big dookie rope chains on, long white tees. Right. Like, I'm not Run DMC. This isn't the 80s, big, huge, baggy <laughs> pants. Who wears that? The thing is, though, the story but, has taken up, like, national. I mean, there, yeah. it was on Deadspin. There's people talking about it all over the country now. Uh, the, the dress code at Bar Louie. Now, do you feel that it's racist or is it just restrictive? Uh, okay, here's, I don't want to necessarily say it is racist, but it has a racial undertone. And I can only speak from my experiences. I live in that neighborhood, so I'll go there as a neighborhood bar, me and my buddies. Plenty of times we've been, can't wear your hat. Right. You can't wear your hat like this. Like this hat, I've been not allowed in because I wear my hat like, like that. this. And we'll say it's that flat bill is too stiff. It's too stiff. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, okay. Loosen up, you're good. Nope, I already saw it. I already <laughs> saw it. Damage has already been done. Yeah, like you've already done it. Like I came, I came to get some food and water. Leave me alone. And my only deal about it is I'll look in the restaurant, in the bar, and I'll see 80 other dudes with hats on. Like, like that. this. Right. Like, dude, I'm not going to wear my hats like squints from Sandlot <laughs> to go get a beer in my neighborhood. It's like I have a nice fit. It's just, just shut up and leave me alone. It happens at bars all around. But the sleeveless but, undershirts you don't have a problem with. No, I don't want to hang out with anybody in sleeveless undershirts. Right. You don't like yes. No, so I go drinking in Wisconsin. Of band clothes. Yeah, it's just like ease up on the hats and the bouncers. Just don't be jerks about it. All right, learn how to have a conversation with somebody. Because, well, we always get aggressive. Well, you start getting aggressive with me, I'll get aggressive with you. Yeah, just I just, I just saw the... Just, no the, hats at all. The, just do I mean, it like that, no hats. We've hung out at a lot of clubs together yeah. back in the day. <laughs> yes. Uh, and most of them were hip-hop clubs. 90% mm -hmm. clientele African-American. Yeah. Same exact dress code. Exactly. So who is that racist or is it restrictive or you just don't want knuckleheads in there? Like, what are you trying to keep out? Yeah, and it's like, and it's it, like all the clothes and car. I don't wear that stuff. Most people don't wear big dookie chains and long, long t-shirts. Our Kelly's got all those. <laughs> yeah, the Kells has <laughs> that market on lock. But it's just like, yeah, don't trip on the hats. Like, either everybody can wear their hat or else not. Like, I can't get in with this and you're going to let a dude in with a fedora. See, three <laughs> dudes, one crew and a fedora. Unfortunately. Like, Unfortunately, baseball caps have been affiliated with gangs in the past, so that's why I think those are targeted. The, Fedoras, eh. that's just like a like a But in the past, I get thing. it, but you got to understand where it is. You like, saw that hot model right. dude who's in jail now? He wasn't wearing no hat. The hot model gang mm, guy. Yeah, oh, gang yeah. member. No hat. No hat. No hat. No hat. See? Mm -hmm. True, True. College educated. Uh,